This afternoon, the people who drove the Adair faction out of the Shanko were among thousands of UDA men who attended the funeral of Joan Gregg, the organization's Southeast Atom Brigadier, shot by C Company in Belfast at the weekend. A number of the Adair defectors were also present. A volley of shots was fired over the coffin, but well away from journalists and camera crews. The UDA's top men, including Jackie McDonald and Jim Gray, walked behind his coffin, which was draped in a UFF flag. A number of prominent members of the UDA's political associates, the UPRG, including Adair's former ally on the shankle, Frank McCubrey, were also there and carried his coffin at one point. Milltown Cemetery killer Michael Stone made a rare public appearance at the funeral, which was also attended by the leaders of the UVF and the Loyalist Volunteer Force. Security forces kept their distance from the funeral. Police sources estimated that as many as 7,000 people were in the cortege, making it one of the biggest paramilitary funerals here in years. The funeral went ahead despite a number of bomb warnings, which purportedly came from Adair's supporters, who said devices had been left at Rathco and at Cardamone Cemetery, where Greg was buried. Afterwards, UPRG member Tommy Kirkham was asked if the feud was now over. What I can say is, uh, the part in Northern Ireland is over. Um, the fact that some people have been arrested uh, in Scotland, uh, we, we do not know the outcome of that. The UDA's inner council had given members of C Company until midnight tonight to quit the unit. But it's now clear that John White's interview on UTV Live last night, during which he said he was indifferent about John Gregg's murder, precipitated the purge. Um, so, you know, he was the aggressor and those are blown by the sword, die by the sword. In relation to the comments made yesterday, uh, all I can say is, you know, Damocles it was very swift uh, in his retribution. You're talking about what John White said? Is John White still a target? As far as we're concerned, uh, the UPRG have now put the thing to bed. Uh, it's time for us to move on. Um, the question of John White and, and the outcome whatever happens to him is beyond our control. The Chief Constable Eord rejected criticisms that his officers hadn't acted quickly enough last night. They came under a sustained attack without doubt they saved lives last night, one in particular. Um, shots were fired, uh, we made an arrest so we have uh, some success in terms of the uh, situation that went on down there. What appears to have happened last night is a number of uh, people from Alert Shankill have chosen to leave uh, Northern Ireland which may have some calming effect, quite frankly.